morning. I rise before you to present to you an announcement for a historic event in our specialty, which will take place two years from now in New York. The first surgical service dedicated to the treatment of patients with head and neck cancer was established in New York at the Memorial Hospital in 1914. Over the years, the specialty has matured, as you know, and the years have gone by quickly. Can I have my first slide, please? If this doesn't seem to go, gentlemen, can you run the first slide, please? No, go back. I expected this would happen. The beginning of the presentation. We tried this yesterday, we tried this this morning, but as they say, it never fails to fail. Never mind, in the time, okay, here we go. hundred years have passed since the momentous occasion uh, of celebrating the centennial of the head and neck service has arrived and is just around the corner. In order to celebrate this uh, centennial event, the International Federation of Head and Neck Oncologic Societies will bring its fifth World Congress to New York. As you are aware, those of you who have attended the previous meetings, the International Federation has a significant track record of running uh, extraordinary world congresses. Can I? The preparations for this world congress, as you may have seen in the brochures in front of you during the course of the past two days, are well in, uh, well in progress. And the organization of this congress Uh, will uh, uh, be uh, presented in, the New York, in New York City. The Congress will take place in the center of New York City, uh, in the Times Square, uh, the heart of the city, at the Marriott Marquis Hotel. The uh, facilities of the hotel are extraordinary. Uh, some of you may have seen it. And the organization of this meeting, if this thing would work, uh, is done by the American Head and Neck Society, uh, who will also hold its annual meeting in conjunction with the World Congress of the IFNOS to celebrate that centennial. The executive committee of this uh, 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 centennial event is already in action. Bevan Yu as program chairman, William Wade, director of the IFNOS, Terry Day, president of AHNS that year, Ashok Shah, Secretary General of FNOS, Dennis Krauss, Secretary of the AHNS, Alexis Rapidis, Treasurer uh, of FNOS, Eha Bhena, Treasurer of AHNS, and Jay Boyle working as a liaison between the joint meeting and the centennial function of Memorial Hospital. The program grid has already been formatted. Uh, it will be a four and a half day packed program with not only science, but also uh, is ample opportunity for social activities and the presence of various celebrities throughout the four-day program. Uh, the program committee has much work to do. A uh, number of representatives from both organizations are already in action, and they will meet within the next six weeks to start 
formatting the details of the content of the program. We anticipate uh, participants from all 42 component societies of the IFNOS representing the nations of Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Egypt, European Union, Germany, Greece, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Israel, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Moldova, Nepal, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Russia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, uh, Taiwan, Thailand, Turkey, UK, USA, and Venezuela. The representatives of these nations have been contacted to nominate leadership for uh, being on the program. And these are the International Advisory Committee members who will actively participate in recruiting uh, faculty from every nation to participate in this meeting. So remember, I extend to you my personal invitation for uh, New York in 2004. Can I go to my last slide, please? So remember New York, and I will see you in New York. Thanks, Jeremy. As we get ready for the awards ceremony, I thought we'd just do a quick uh, program review for Monday, July 23rd. Uh, so you remember yesterday our uh, program theme was diagnostics and imaging. Today's is medical oncology. Uh, we started off, of course, with the hearty discussion in the uh, J.P. Shaw Symposium. Uh, we'll have, of course, the presidential address after the awards ceremonies. Uh, we have three panels and two lunches with professors with the medical oncology theme, but we have panels in refractory thyroid cancer, melanoma, HPV, and a quality of care panel. We have nine lunches with professors, tumor boards, the poster session with wine and cheese at 5.30 uh, tonight. And don't forget the iPhone, iPad-based app uh, the Android-based app, and of course, even a PC, BlackBerry-based app uh, to monitor the, the program. I'll leave it up to uh, the awards ceremony to start now. Good morning. Uh, if we could ask for the award uh, recipients to come to the front. Uh, my name is Greg Farwell, and as chair of the awards committee, it's my pleasure to hand out the awards for this year's uh, best papers. Um, it was a tremendous year. We had over 150 submissions. Um, if I could have my first set of slides, I'm certainly indebted to the members of the award committee for their extraordinary hard work uh, in selecting this year's winners. Uh, the first award is for the Robert Maxwell Byers Award. This is the award for the best overall paper. And this year, it's my pleasure to give this award to Dr. Arun Sharma from the University of Washington. His presentation will be today at 2.45. Uh, Dr. Sharma, are you available? The next award will be for the best resident clinical paper. Uh, this award goes to Dr. Jessica Maxwell from the University of Pittsburgh. Her presentation will be at 10.30 on Tuesday, and I would encourage all available uh, to visit these wonderful uh, presentations. The next award goes to the best resident basic science paper. And this year, the uh, recipient is Dr. Nicholas Deep from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Uh, his presentation will be at uh, 423 today. Dr. Deep, congratulations. Yep. 
There are two awards in the category of Best Prevention and Early Detection. This year, the first place award goes to Dr. Diofa Tan from the University of Hunan in China. This presentation will be at 5.01 today. Dr. Tian? Uh, a recurring theme, the second place award is also from China. Uh, this goes to Dr. Ying Luo from the Kunming uh, University in China. This presentation will be at 2.38 tomorrow. Dr. Luo? Good morning. So for the research grant awards, we had about 66 applicants, and we're pleased to announce the winners. The first award was the Ballantine Resident Research Pilot Grant Award, which um, has been awarded to Nirav Goyal from Penn State University for determining the association between radon levels and thyroid cancer. The next awards are the uh, American Head and Neck Society Pilot Research Grants. And we have two winners here, the Daria Gaikolova from Johns Hopkins University for her work on transcription factor signature of head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. Our next winner was John Frederick from the University of Alabama for anti-CD147 inhibits EGFR signaling in cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. <laughs> 